You know, I, I didn't get to say this earlier, but I really feel compelled to share. Um, I'm a mom of children in public school. I'm a parent. And I'm a mom of a fifth grader and a seventh grader, a fifth grader who is right now learning about puberty in school because it actually is the right time for him and his all awkward classmates to learn about their changing bodies. We've had some highly entertaining and embarrassing conversations at the dinner table, but it's okay because we can handle it as a family and it's really important for his health, his safety, his well-being. And as a parent, I can tell you what he's learning is developmentally appropriate, and I'm so glad he has that opportunity. But I've got to say that it doesn't make me feel involved in my child's education to know that maybe staff of the district will have to be informing on my child. I'm deeply uncomfortable with the idea that the staff of the district will feel pressure to watch and report on children or face punishment. It breaks my heart to hear from a teacher in my school district who has already removed every book from their classroom because they don't know what passage in a book might get them in trouble. This is a language arts teacher with no books in their classroom. It horrifies me when I hear from superintendents like I did just a few weeks ago that they have to go page by page through books that have been on the school library shelves for 30 years But now they feel the need to outline what sections they can teach and which they can't to protect their teachers from accusations or potential legal action. It is not hyperbole to share how these bills are creating a hostile climate. It is not hysterics to give voice to what the educators, parents, and children in our community are feeling. Now, I might not be the parent that the majority party is listening to, and from the legislation we've seen, I'm pretty sure I'm not. But I am a parent, and supposedly my choice and my voice matters to the Iowa legislature. As a parent, I don't think parents are the only ones that matter. I'm glad that other members of the community are part of preparing my child for life as part of a community, not just as part of my family. And as a parent, I don't appreciate rhetoric or policy that demonizes the people that matter to me and my children. And I certainly don't want policy or rhetoric that will drive these beloved people away from our state. Thank you.